right, back again with a uh, latest and greatest update on the Electra Townie. And pretty much finished with it uh, in its current configuration. Got about uh, 200 miles on it now. And she's held up great. Uh, we made some minor changes. And uh, so uh, let's do a uh, quick walk around and review exactly everything that we've done with this townie. I believe my last video I called it a 5 speed. It's the townie 7, which is a 7 speed. Uh, now completely converted and, uh, and motorized and it's been a wonderful project that's come out really great really nice bike and some of the things from the last video uh, that we did change the aero motors pipe exhaust didn't work out it actually the muffler actually broke off so we're back to a speed demon muffler and that might be a further upgrade down the road with a uh, sick bike parts modified and or speed demons new expansion chamber uh, i'm not sure which way i want to go yet we'll see um, and uh, with that upsweep pipe hence the uh, silver tape that's exhaust uh, tape for uh, protection on the frame and we have uh, got our new uh, gates uh, poly drive GT carbon belt a thing of wonder things beautiful works just perfect no worry about chain tensioning oil grease nothing it just works awesome beautiful delivery smooth quiet I really like that and uh, change the saddle you know stock saddle is not comfortable at all uh, one of the things or questions from last time was, uh, or with some of the even the other bike with uh, the tank and the and the bracket or rack, I should say. Um, I recommend just buying the uh, rack and tank from uh, That's Dax. He's got a nice setup with a three-quarter gallon tank. I'm going to get me one. I'm going to put it on one of the other bikes and try it out. Um, not sure if his brackets are long enough yet. Can't wait to try one out to see. I had to make my own brackets to make this work. I had to uh, stuff that tank underneath the rack. It doesn't fit. And to give it uh, clearance so that it clears, as well as strength, I had to make this triangular three bolt, uh, 316 steel bracket bracing and uh, that came out really nice always recommended you get a headlight instead of a light to be seen this is a mighty cross not my favorite the ones I have on the other bikes are actually nicer because they don't have a battery pack and work just as good but this is a great light it works nice it's a headlight with that battery pack plenty of life and it works excellent so you can see where you're going at night if you do any kind of night riding again with the custom front forks uh, that had to be modified to fit that frame maxis tires front disc brake install running cables through the frame another change in the uh, belt drive system that I had you guys uh, that have looked and seen at the belt drive system uh, I've got some Re Regina or Regina uh, race chain on it uh, pulled the belt drive because uh, the output shaft drive sprocket was well it didn't break or anything but I wasn't liking the way it was uh, working on there you took it off before it did break uh, that was a hatchet job in making it work just to, for testing purposes and now I do know it will work I just have to have a, a sprocket uh, or pulley cut to fit the shaft and, and it will be spot on perfect it be something you set it and forget it never have to worry about it but this chain is uh, sweet any of you guys ever use any of this chain uh, used on racing go-karts 
this chain is good for 12 horsepower. Again, if you want a little bit of setup, forget it, especially for the sick bike parts uh, uh, clan out there that are using these uh, setups. Uh, that's an absolute must because I hate the amount of chain stretch you get with the standard chain. It's a real pain in the butt. When you got a high performance motor, high compression heads, they tear that chain up right now. Like a nice semi truck driving down your street to ruin the sound. Uh, the Shimano roller brake and DaVinci N 360 hub holding up excellent. Uh, love it. Uh, to this day, no problems. Uh, we've got a max speed uh, on this bike at 42 miles an hour. Uh, that is off road, of course. You can't legally drive that fast on the street. Um, a nice steady cruising speed. Can I focus on that. Thirty eight miles an hour. Could pull thirty eight miles an hour without a problem. I haven't calculated it, but this motor. This setup is getting well over 80 miles to the gallon. That's calculated, minimum. And tomorrow, hopefully, I will get video posted tomorrow. Uh, we're going out on a ride, got a couple of bikes, and, uh, a beautiful chopper bike uh, a friend of mine that's, has built, and uh, we'll get all the bikes out on the road and get some uh, road video. And that is it for now. If you guys got any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. And likes are always encouraged. Until next time, hopefully tomorrow, we're out.